Good morning, everybody. Look at our guest today is we are carrying on the Take Your Pet to Work Day and we are sharing a little bit of love and a little bit of hugs from Miles and we can say everybody wants to be the person your dog thinks you are. <laughs> yes. And also, and this is so true, I have so many friends that this is very, very true. You are going to um, move if move you the want dog. The best seat in the house. You'll have to move the dog. That's right. That's <laughs> right. And Susan is a not only a dog lover, but you're so involved in dog rescue. And many people here at ETC have met you because Susan came to Gilmer County many years ago and quickly got involved with good things. And you're part of the big group called Focus. Yes. And um, you. You not only help rescue, you stop the birth of unwanted puppies. Thousands and thousands of puppies have been, you know, you, you look at, there would be litter after litter after litter of unwanted dogs if y'all didn't do the spay and neuter program. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in that? Well, about, you know, several years ago, I was with Homeward Bound, mm -hmm. and I was there for a little over a year, mm -hmm. and then I sort of, you know, took a little sabbatical, and then when Fogus came along, a friend of mine, a neighbor, it's Friends of Gilmer Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. Fogus themselves doesn't rescue dogs, mm -hmm. but we do all the prep for spay and neuter, and a mm -hmm. big shout out to Ernie Taylor. This was his brainchild years mm -hmm. ago, and since January of 2018, we have had 481 dogs and cats spayed and neutered. That's unbelievable. 481, and, uh, even if times. you figured a small litter of six, 481 times six, that's over 2,800 animals Yeah, that would be running loose in the county or no telling what, or, you know, um, often puppies born out in the wild don't make it, don't mm -hmm, survive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So amazing, absolutely we, amazing. We're helping the, the animal shelter, of course, mm -hmm. but we're also helping the community. We're helping Gilmer County mm -hmm. by having all these dogs, you know, um, spayed and neutered mm -hmm. and, and taken care of that way. This way it doesn't, doesn't ever begin, right. you know, the overpopulation. Right. But we, uh, Daniel Louka from the Gilmer Shelter, he takes dogs on trips up north and mm -hmm. gets them adopted up there. Right. So I mean, we have. Does he tell them when he leaves here, "Hey, we're going up north, and you're not coming back"? Um, Maybe they're like, "Oh, it's cold up there. I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. You wanna they're do, not sure they want to be there. If so. you want to go to a loving home, yeah. guaranteed. Yes. Then you yes. can because we're just overwhelmed down here. Everybody right. has as many pets as they want. Mm -hmm. So to adopt another, you know, it takes a little extra effort. And money, you know. It's and why up north do people, because they have stricter rules and laws and regulations? Yes, they do. Yeah. I mean, you are taxed uh, if your dog is not spayed or neutered. So, oh, wow. Yeah, high, wow. Yeah. They oh, my gosh. To, and they'll find you. I mean, they will find you that if you don't. That is wild. They find okay. out you've got a dog and it's not. So if you have overpopulated, they almost punish you by making you be responsible, which yeah. is really pretty cool. Which is, you know hit it where it hurts in mm -hmm. the pocketbook mm -hmm. and if they mm -hmm. have to pay money extra yeah. every year yeah until the, the dog is spayed or neutered so wow. they do it up there which we should really take take note maybe of maybe some you lessons know, yeah. yeah yeah look how good my little well, look at miles he is i, I want to show so precious well, last year we had well this year yes we, had, we were supposed to have he's like boy, look at that boy is this a good <laughs> shot of him boo, 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 look boo, at you boo, boo, boo. How cute you are, my well, goodness. Well, this was this outfit for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which yes. had to be canceled. Yeah, because, yeah, because, because you know of COVID. What? Yeah. Yes, that so horrible So a lot word. of our events haven't taken place mm -hmm. and our fundraising. So mm -hmm. I just appeal to everyone out there, if there's any amount of money you can help, uh, donate to Focus or the Gilmer Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. It's such a big help because with all our events being postponed or canceled, right. we're not able to raise money the way the old-fashioned way we used right. to do it right. with the barbecue and the silent mm -hmm. auction and, mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look, look at that him. thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. He stood up all by himself. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, he now, wants to do Miles a little dance. is not quite four years old. Right. He's full grown, six mm -hmm. pounds. About six pounds, yeah. yeah. He and had a big breakfast this morning, yeah. so we'll and add you, another quarter pound. You said he that. is meek and mild, Miles? Uh, mild mannered, mild. Mild mannered, mild. And then his older, uh, not his brother, but the older one who's just f three months older, is Rip Roaring Riley. Uh -oh. uh, so I didn't so know if Riley, Riley was here Riley, today, it would I'm not be. <laughs> and then there's Barking Brody uh -oh. and. Um, 
Bully Boy and Nigel. Uh -oh. Yeah, they all have their little nicknames. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. but this is the sweet little guy. Yeah. And Susan, why did you adopt, or why did you have more than one pet? Why did you think it was important to do that? I think I've always had several, and I mm -hmm. think almost like children, you yeah. know, they sort of entertain each other. Right. And they're not so focused on you, mm -hmm. and I want all the attention. If they have others to play with, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they do that, and they get mm -hmm. their exercise by doing that, too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he's so cute. He is so precious. And, and I said when la, I la, first la, got la, here, la, la, la. I saw him, and I remembered how my, my Angela always wanted Aww. a pocketbook dog. That's what mm -hmm. she would call him. Mm -hmm. And she had a dear friend who had one that looked so much like Miles. Yeah. I think hers was even tinier than him. They do go. Is he a... A miniature, or is he uh, a... No, he's, he's a good size Yorkie. Okay. A lot of people do like to breathe them down so they can get those foo-foo dogs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in their pocket. But that's not the healthiest yeah. thing. Yeah. Actually, Yorkshire Terriers were like 10, 12 pounds. Really? And they were used as ratters in, mm -hmm. the, uh, in the farms and the stables. Mm -hmm. uh, Yorkshire is a town in England. Uh -huh. But they also bred them in Ireland. And the Irish Yorkies are a little bit bigger, stronger, more muscular because sometimes they would go on the hunt with the, mm -hmm. with the other horses and things. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. mostly, you know, we're, we're not killing And any. Miles, the biggest thing he hunts is what side of the sofa he's going to sit on. That's right. <laughs> That's usually, he's a real lap dog, I can tell you that. But he is so precious. Oh, but he's did you a see that doll. Face? He is so cute. Is, is that cute. the camera that's on him? There he is. Oh. He's so cute. cute. He's like, so yeah. cute. Okay. Now, well, maybe we'll take this little, uh, should I take it off or it, are you Whatever he's comfortable okay, with. Okay, I think so far we're good. He's okay. Yeah. He's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's being a good boy and um, he has he has been blessed with a loving, happy home. Mm -hmm. How many pets are not? And we oh, see yeah. that all the time. Mm -hmm. You see a, a skinny mama dog walking the side of the road. I, I saw know. one down on board town the other day and it just mm -hmm. made me feel so bad because it was walking alongside the road you could tell she just had puppies oh. she was very thin and I thought oh my gosh you know either she was abandoned or somebody wasn't taking care of her and that's one of the things that focus focuses on yeah. is taking care of those animals and and by doing the spay and neuter program you've made it affordable for everybody the uh, pet owners only pay $25 mm -hmm. focus with their fundraisers um, pay the additional cost to Dr. Mm -hmm. Chester, mm -hmm. who does give us a very good price. Right, uh, right. But still, it can be up to $100 mm -hmm. extra that Fogus has to contribute. And, you know, and they're all different sizes. The, the females are more expensive mm -hmm. to spay, um, mm -hmm. and a bigger dog, like maybe a Labrador or something, for an owner to have a, a, the dog spayed or neutered for $25. Yeah, that's but, amazing. And, and can I mention, let me see, I have some little notes here. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's the upcoming event, the gifts, the gifts certificates, you have to be there early, October 11th mm -hmm. at the Tractor Supply in the parking lot. And October 11th is actually this Saturday? Yes. Yes, yes. so this Saturday. Right. And then the uh, the event, the spay neuter event will be on uh, in November. I'm not sure exactly mm -hmm. what day mm -hmm. in November, but Dr. Chester will be doing that at the Civic Center. And so you have to get in line early because how many certificates will be given? 20, 25? 30. 30. 30. Okay. Uh, the last time we had it was, um, mm -mm -mm, let me see now, September 11th and there were supposed to be 30, but two no-shows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we had, I think, 20 dogs and eight cats. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. still, that's a lot. I Look mean, at him. He You're so cute. Uh, isn't he adorable? You're just so cute. <laughs> but what so I'd like cute. to mention also, Sherry, is we had the drive-through shots mm -hmm. on September the 12th. Mm -hmm. And, oh, just kudos out to all the, the Fogus volunteers. We had about 12, 13 volunteers, mm -hmm. and a lot of couples, mm -hmm. you know, husband-wife teams. Yeah. You get your husband up at 6.30 <laughs> and say, we've got to stand in a parking lot for four hours. I mean, he might if he was going to go golfing, but, yes, you know, yeah, the, a lot yeah. of the, the husband-wife teams are very, very supportive, so uh -huh, uh -huh. that's really good, too. Yeah. But anyway, we had 350 shots. Wow. I tell now, you, did you offer a discounted price? Is that why it was so busy? Ten dollars for a rabies shot. No vet fees. Mm -hmm. Ten dollars for rabies, and then the bordetella, which is the kennel cough, was fifteen, mm -hmm. and the um, distemper leposclerosis com combination shot was also fifteen. Mm -hmm. And then we had the leukemia shots for cats, mm -hmm. and I think the older cats got it for 
uh, 20, mm -hmm. and then the younger cats got it for 15. Mm -hmm. But we had a line through the Gilmer County Courthouse parking lots. Mm -hmm. It was like 400 on a Monday morning. <laughs> oh my God! It was bumper to bumper. Wow. And we had all the focus volunteers standing out on the roads directing traffic because it was the farmer's market day too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to direct the ones to the farmer's market that away and then everybody coming for the drive through. Mm -hmm. Literally the owners and the dogs stayed in their cars and they you choo-chooed up a line to where the, the veterinarian, Dr. Chester, mm -hmm. and his staff were mm -hmm. there waiting. And uh, we came to the doors of the cars and with the fill-out form. Mm -hmm. And you had to fill out the name of the dog, the breed of dog, and um, because they need that for the rabies. Right. And the owner's name. And um, then they, they came by us. They filled out the forms. We took the money. And then they went by the... Um, tent where Dr. Chester was mm -hmm. and he is amazing he is so fast That's those wild. dogs never knew what was coming <laughs> they just boom and there was one particular one that uh, I'm still sort of having nightmares about uh -oh. it was a, a car a, a double cab pickup truck uh -huh. full of about mm, maybe four dogs uh -huh. and they were all barking 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 uh -huh. and the owner got out uh, where I was having him fill out the form and he said don't get near them because they're hunting dogs and they've already had the taste of blood. <laughs> I was like, oh, my oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, I won't get near them. But he filled out the forms and all I could think of was poor Dr. Chester. Yeah. He but has so to give these dogs a shot. You offer this to any and everybody. It doesn't matter what your income is. It doesn't matter. Just, no. just come and be involved right. in this. And the shots program that we had, mm -hmm. um, was it, you didn't have to be a Gilmer County resident. Mm -hmm. For the spay neuter, you do. Yes. But for the shots, it was people from anywhere. Uh -huh. I mean, 350 shots. Can you imagine? That's unreal. And, yeah. the, and the savings yeah. for those people, because yeah. normally yeah. you would have to go to the vet. Plus, you didn't have to book an appointment and mm -hmm. take off work, and nope. you know, it was done on a Saturday morning. Right, right, yeah. from 8 till 12. Mm -hmm. And but we had to be there early, and we got the okay from the town to do that. Mm -hmm. And then the police were very wonderful, assisting us with traffic control. Mm -hmm. I bet we were out there, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, come on, come on, this way, that way. Uh -huh. And uh, but the everyone really pitched in, and our, awesome. our Fogus family is just wonderful. I mean, they really, really are. Yeah. A lot of them. Well, we all have busy lives, mm -hmm. but a lot of them are still full-time workers, mm -hmm. and they'll take that time off when they could just be having their cup of coffee at home. Right. Get up, get dressed. Look at him. <laughs> Say, I'm just so happy to be on TV. I know. He <laughs> is so quite photogenic. He is, he is. Okay, you want to get this off? He is. No, he said that good. hat's driving me crazy, well, Mama. <laughs> all right, well, no, he, okay, all right, let's get it off then. Boom. Now we can see your there full we, precious face. Maybe I'll face. go this too. Off we go. Okay, okay now. Let me put this down oh, here. Boy. Oh, boy. He go said, yeah, I'm out of prison now. <laughs> now, now we got to get the little jacket off. There we go. Let me see. Let me see. Good, okay, good there you go. It is like like a little baby, isn't yes, it? Like a yeah, little tiny yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, Mom. there we go. Did you buy, did you start with your pets after your husband passed away because of the loneliness or? Oh, no. No, you I've already had them. had, okay. always had. Honestly, I think I've always had like four yeah. or five. Yeah. And then we had the horses also. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah, we've been, uh, I've been a pet. I mean, I don't know what I would do without them. They're yeah. They're just yeah. such great company. And. You know, they're, they're a reason to get up in the morning because they're jumping all over. They wake you up in the morning, oh, yeah. yeah. 100, 100, yeah. You don't 100. need an alarm clock, you got miles. <laughs> really? <laughs> now you got true. Riley. <laughs> so. You know, almost on the dot, 7.30, mm -hmm. I cannot sleep a moment after. That's funny. And they just jump jump on me and kiss me and, uh -huh. you know, they breathe really? on my face. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But I'm always thinking, maybe they have to really go to the bathroom, yeah, so I better get, get up, up now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. look at that little tongue hanging yeah. out there. He's so cute. He's Thank so you. cute. Could you want to hold him? No. Well, not yeah. yet. Okay, not okay, yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nick said, Mom, you're allergic to dogs. How are you going to do a show with a dog? Oh. You're allergic to him. And I said, I'll oh, be okay. I'll be okay. This particular breed is... Uh, Hypoallergenic, yes. maybe? Well, yeah. nothing is 100%. Mm -hmm. But he's one of the breeds that doesn't shed. Yeah. That's why it cost me a small fortune to get everybody groomed every five yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. I know, and he, he's a little scruffy now because his professional groom is next week. But he's, <laughs> he's still as cute as he's all get He's so up. cute. I know, thank now, you. Now, yesterday was a special day for you. You celebrated a birthday. I did. And so I brought a newspaper. <laughs>
<laughs> to honor birthdays uh -huh. because on February the 26th, 1880, this newspaper came out. And Susan, I thought it was kind of appropriate. It's the Boston Weekly Journal. And you actually have family. Did you have family in Connecticut? In Connecticut. Okay. Yeah, Boston, okay. Massachusetts. But yeah. yeah. Is my name listed in there? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if your birthday is in here. Um, I don't know. This is this came wow. from an old home in Buckhead. And um, it was actually found in the attic. And I, I think it's very interesting to me at how large the newspaper was. Because if you've bought a newspaper lately here, uh -huh. They're not quite this wow. big now. Look at this. How fragile it Look is. At Look at this. Look at that. And I'm being so cautious with it because mm -hmm. it has been wrapped in plastic. But it says, gentle women who want glossy, luxurious, and wavy tresses of abundant, beautiful hair must use Lion's Catheron. This elegant, cheap article always makes the hair grow freely and fast, keeps it from falling out, Arrest and cures grayness, removes dandruff and itching, and makes the hair strong, giving it a curling tendency and keeping it in a desired position. Beautiful, healthy hair is a sure result of using Catheron. How many people in our generation have ever heard of Catherine? Never have. No. <coughs> it must not have worked. <laughs> it must not have worked. Well, you don't need any help with your hair. I, I mean, don't you know, have a boy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I had an appointment this morning, and Miss Leah was sick, and I didn't get my hair cut, and I feel like my hair is just so kinky no, and curly, it's driving it's me crazy. Gorgeous. Miles, I need to see your groomer. <laughs> but, but this is interesting because the rate of this newspaper, the rate of the subscription, was oh my gosh. $15 a year or $30 if you get five copies to one address. Why would you get five copies to one address? Did everybody get a newspaper? That's so weird. Unless but this is the were, Boston, mm. this is Boston Thursday morning, February the 26th, 1880. Wow. Amazing. And it has political jottings, it has current notes, it has southward through Spain, which I think, mm. what were we doing in Spain in 1880? Mm. Everyday thoughts about everyday work. And this is edition nine, the Boston Weekly Journal from 1880. And again, oh, this yeah. is, to me, I was just impressed by how huge it is. Yeah. This is two pages of it, and it also shows that, do you know how people, Corresponded in 1880 by telegraph. Oh, right, and it shows right. you what they have received by telegraph from Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. And because there were no cell phones, mm -hmm. were there, yeah, Alexander Graham Bell had invented the phone by then, mm -hmm. but, but there was by telegraph. And so things were so very, very different. Today, what you and I are doing will go not only here in LJ, but it will go worldwide because of Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it's just a very, very different time from 1880 until today. You get it? Um, progress. Mm -hmm. Often, I think some progress has become regression to me. Mm -hmm. I think we need to go back to the way we used to be, where children respected their parents and where uh, moms and dads gathered around the table at night and had dinner, and mm -hmm. I think things should be a little bit different. I think there are some things that we should go back to. Mm -hmm. But after seeing last night's vice presidential debate, <laughs> we're gonna talk about that when we come back. Okay. Because I am not wanting to go there. I do not want to go there. It is uh, blew my mind. So it was kind of unusual, kind of different. Um, I, I'm kind of blown away that we are approaching this election very, very quickly, and we're going to talk about mm -hmm. that in a few minutes. Okay. And Miles is going to just sit here and visit with us. He has been an awful good Isn't boy. Isn't he a good boy? He Did is he a good, good boy. Yes, and he <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boy. gosh. Know, yeah. Did him. he know how joy how much joy he would bring to you when you brought him home. From moment I, one, was he I good boy? I think it was mutual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, can you imagine? This is how he is now. Yeah. And he's almost four years old. And, and how imagine, old was he when you got him? About five weeks, six weeks. Oh, wow. I know, so he's tiny, tiny. Chinny, like a little chicken, little <coughs> teeny weeny chicken <laughs> thing there. I know. How sweet. How sweet. Well, I we're going to take all. a commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the political 
era that we are going through that is something that I don't know if any of our forefathers would be happy with what's happening today. But we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. When traveling internationally, know where you're going and what the environment is. Also, don't dress to stick out. Dress to blend in with the environment and the culture. Make sure that you put minimal information on your luggage tags. Airlines actually track your bags, which you can follow through your app anywhere domestically and internationally. Also have a medical plan. We have mobilized rescue system. These systems are the only integrated medical technology that can integrate to your phone and be used abroad and domestically for any medical emergency that you have. If you have any questions or concerns about travel security or training, please contact Titan International. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speed to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. His um, his disc it ruptured it, and he was paralyzed. And I took him to wow. a specialist in Woodstock. Oh um, my! Yeah, and um, the Bush um, Neurological. And, um, so if you're looking at adopting an animal, did you adopt him in that condition? No. No. No, I had him okay. since a little teeny weeny puppy okay. too. Okay. But dachshunds are sort of unfortunately noted for back in, back mm -hmm. problems because mm -hmm. they're so long. Right. And um, But I don't know how it happened or how he did it. It just happened. But took him there and within two or three days I had him home walking around. They and thought he's he was 13 years old now? 13, yeah. Wow. And I had him since he was a little, yeah. little tiny puppy also, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Now what did he think when you started dragging in all these other little... Oh, they're so cute. Oh, how sweet. Well, wait a minute, they're not <laughs> staying, are they? <laughs> yeah, get used to it. Oh, they're staying. Oh, no, oh, no. I know, he's just, now, he is really enjoying this. Today you? you have something kind of going on when we leave here because it's your birthday. Oh, yesterday and was. Yeah. Yesterday was yeah. your birthday, yeah. and you have some friends who are gonna celebrate. What are y'all gonna do? Well, uh, Jenny and Charlotte, Jenny makes the most amazing pork ribs with sauerkraut. Oh, wow. Oh, I, you know, I guess it's an old family recipe, but uh -huh. how she makes, and she starts at like 4.30 in the morning yeah. to yeah. get it all simmered down and uh -huh. da, 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 da. And I think brown sugar is in there somewhere. Yes. But she prepares that and, and she knows it's one of my favorites. And, mm -hmm. and so 
they're bringing that today, so we're going to have that for, for lunch. Yeah. We're having it a day later because I had people working at the house yesterday. So that was my birthday present to myself to mm -hmm. get the yard mm -hmm. all cleaned up mm -hmm. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we would just postpone it for a day. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. a birthday today, um, you're celebrating being a widow for how many years? Oh, gosh. Uh, Frank will have been gone for 15 years, December the 4th. Okay, so yeah. for 15 years you've had to really adjust and you've mm -hmm. done well. Yeah, you've stayed busy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there were times. Oh, yeah. Yeah many many nights. I cried myself to sleep mm -hmm. But I know that he would want me to be happy and yeah. be strong and go on and yeah You know the one thing that used to um, I used to really enjoy he and I both Because um, I was far away maybe on a trip mm -hmm. I know flying as a flight attendant I might even be in like Cairo, Egypt, mm -hmm. but the one thing that we stayed connected to was the moon. Yeah. We would both look up at the moon. Mm -hmm. There might be like eight, nine, ten hours difference mm -hmm. between us, mm -hmm. but it was the same moon. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what we sort of felt like a, we were connected by looking right. at the same moon. Yeah. Yep. So that's what we did. It's, it's so weird because Vicki and Dawn Holyfield were the same exact way. And she oh. said now when she thinks about him, she goes outside to see the moon. Yeah. Really and, and I said, isn't that strange? Because yeah. that is a connection. You being a world away mm -hmm. from your husband. Yep. On the other side. You were able to do that. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it is it is crazy how mm -hmm. you find that little thing that still connects you. It made a big difference for us. I mean, you couldn't call him from, there were no cell phones way back then mm -hmm, either. And, mm -hmm. and of course, it would be a small fortune to place a phone call from right. wherever else. Yeah. So the moon was our, our connection. There you go. Yeah, it, there you go. It, it helped me, you know. And he was alive then, and, mm -hmm. and still I missed him so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, when he passed away, that was a rough one. But yeah. you know what? For all those ladies out there that share that grief like I have, you know, your husband would, or your wife, you know, vice versa, mm -hmm. would want you to go on, be strong, be happy. Mm -hmm. And I made a lot of new friends here mm -hmm. in Gilmer mm -hmm. County and just Georgia in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. And the Fogus family, they are the best. I mean, yep. they just, it was like the airline family. When you're away mm -hmm. from home, uh, you have a family of co-workers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and thank you very much for sharing my song, The Red Rose in the Sand. Yes, and yes. And that whole yeah. Um, yeah. Very sad I was going to ask Cole, do you have some of Susan's music that you could do today? Oh. Do you have one of her CDs? Okay. Um, because one of the things that keeps you connected to other people is writing stories that touch hearts. Mm -hmm. And um, you wrote one for Relay for Life because mm -hmm. you did lose the love of your life to cancer. Mm -hmm. And you wrote one last year for the Night to Shine because right. you were involved in that. Actually, it's this year, just a couple this of months year, ago yeah. in June. I know, June 30th. Mm -hmm. And then the one that you wrote about in the sand, was that because of you and your husband? Was that? In no, that was the crash of TWA. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I was watching it on TV mm -hmm. and as they let the, um, the loved ones go out to the beach, the closest landfall to the crash site and that's when they were throwing their roses mm -hmm. out onto the water. Mm -hmm. And then one little boy came and stuck his rose in the sand. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, I wrote that song in 20 minutes. Wow. I was just so emotionally filled that it was just flowing out of me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. And didn't you tell me that you actually knew people on that crew? 27. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. And that so. crash was because of? Was it? They're saying an electrical short okay. in the fuel tank. And at one time they were thinking a bomb? No, they're on well attack. That, but mostly a, a missile. A missile. Okay. Yeah, that's what, we, that's what I honestly think. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a heat seeking missile, I thought, you know, mm -hmm. because it, the first place it went through was the number two engine on the left side, mm -hmm. closest to the fuselage. They recovered 95% of that plane, wow. except for that 5% by the number two engine. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it almost does look like an attack, doesn't well, it? Well, you know, at that time we were going through a lot of, poor TWA, they were always such a target for mm -hmm. terrorism because we were international and right. domestic. Right. And we just, you know, we just screamed, <coughs> USA, USA, mm -hmm. you know, on our tail. Mm -hmm. But it was Trans World Airlines. Mm -hmm. So we were, you know, we were all around the world. But yeah, we were always so, somehow a target for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm. That was, but okay, fair warning, I've written about 80 songs. <laughs> 80? 
80 songs. But I've only recorded about 40. Uh -huh. So, um, and I think you've had like mm, maybe six Several? or seven of my yes, songs yes, on here. So I, have. I appreciate that. I told so you much. the first day that you gave me a CD, I took it home and I was cleaning house that day. And it wasn't even a song you wrote, it was Desperado. Right, right, the only and, one. Yeah. yeah, and it was so crazy because I just yeah. put it on. Mm -hmm. I have a um, TV in my bedroom mm -hmm. that plays CDs or DVDs, oh, and nice. so I just stuck it in there, mm -hmm. and I was just cleaning my bathroom, and mm -hmm. I was making up the bed, changing the sheets, and I was just, and I just kept listening, and the music was so calming. Yeah. It's and I said that was song. such a relaxing, mm -hmm. good song, and yeah. I just kept playing it over and over. Mm -hmm. I played it over and over to a point that the CD got hot. <laughs> oh my God! And I was like, you probably ought to take this sucker out of here before you <laughs> catch the thing on fire. But, uh -huh. but it was it was calming and it was soothing, and I think that's what when I listen to the songs that you've written. Not mm. only do they touch the hearts, mm. they they bring kind of a calming effect. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's there's, I'm a storyteller, mm -hmm. and um, and I just try and it, they're not you know they're not my stories mm -hmm. but I, I listen to people and I said you better be careful mm -hmm. you could be the title of my next oh, song. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Here with me wild child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, yeah. This is my, my laddie boy. My yeah. little laddie boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well you know when last night I got home about 10 after 10 but yesterday I wrote multiple contracts and I mm -hmm. presented multiple offers and I was busy 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 and, and I think we all find a niche that keeps mm -hmm. us from losing our mind during mm -hmm. tragic times in our life, during hard times in our mm -hmm. life. My thing is to stay extremely overly busy, mm -hmm. and I like over busy myself. Mm -hmm. I know you do. You can sit down and, and write a song in a moment, and then do the words and the music come to you at the same time? No, the lyrics. Okay. I, I think the thought, the idea why I'm writing this song mm -hmm. comes first, and then I'll I'll try and rhyme it, try mm -hmm. and rhyme the, the the, the, the verses and the stanzas and all that. Mm -hmm. And then I think a little bit later, uh, usually I, I pull up my guitar and mm -hmm. start doing that. And I play the piano also, so mm -hmm. sometimes I'll, I'll do that. But I think the lyrics or the story, mm -hmm. the storyline is first, then mm -hmm. the lyrics and then the music, but almost right away, almost simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But I get it done, yeah. Some songs take longer than others. The Relay for Life, that wasn't very long at all. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, Night to Shine, that, mm -hmm. that took me maybe two weeks mm -hmm. to get it quite right. Mm -hmm. And then I had to change up the tempo of the music because mm -hmm. it was too waltzy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I liked the way it came out eventually, I really mm -hmm. did. And it's such a shame, you know that Night to Shine's been canceled. I know. I all know. around the world. COVID mm -hmm. has, has really yeah. wreaked yeah. havoc on so I many know. things and so many events. Mm -hmm. and, and when you think about last year, everybody was so excited. A lot of people didn't get to go because of the weather that hit that day. Right. So so a lot of people right, canceled, right. Mm -hmm. but this year everybody was so excited because mm -hmm. they got to see what it was and how. It, and and the guys here at ETC did an amazing job. Yes, they putting did. together mm -hmm. your music with the photos that mm -hmm. they took, yeah, and it perfect. just it was perfect how it came it together. Was, it really so was. and and that's the combination mm -hmm. of now being able to really share with our communities yeah. that Night to Shine is for those special need folks, and and it mm -hmm. will happen again. It will happen it again. Will. And and actually we're. Not to change the subject, but on that same theme, we are already getting uh, committees together for the St. Patrick's Day mm -hmm. for a March 13th next year. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, we need to get sponsors and booths and and that sort of thing. And actually, one, one and because it's note, outdoors, surely to goodness they can it was, have it. Well, next they canceled year. it last year. Yeah, uh, the vendor booth reservations. You can contact um, E. C. Taylor. 37 at gmail.com and they're going to be taking uh, the, the reservations for mm -hmm. the booths mm -hmm. and the sponsors and um, yeah but we still have to get the permits we haven't mm -hmm. got the permits yet mm -hmm. but we will I'm, I'm hoping mm -hmm. March please March mm -hmm. let us open let us open things up last night one of the things Thank that you. we heard in the debate um, a lot of criticism about the way COVID was handled I'm sorry, I disagree with that. I think the way COVID was handled was everybody did the best they could do with the unknown. Mm -hmm. And COVID was unknown. You know, when, when y'all had to cancel your St. Patrick, it was very early into the thing. Mm -hmm. And when I was sitting there last night listening to that debate, and I was just so, mm -hmm. I didn't listen to much because I got kind of, I got to turn this thing off. Mm -hmm. But um, COVID did, it wreaked havoc on our income, on, on our health, on lives lost, it, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but it just 
it's we got to deal with this and we're using common sense now mm -hmm. we're getting outside mm -hmm. We're trying to protect ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, still being cautious, washing and wiping and doing the mm -hmm. things we do and using our brains mm -hmm. about us and the best we can do. You can still get it as hard you as you try. Get it. You, yeah. you yeah. can still yeah. get it. But now, do um, you know <laughs> people actually in Gilmer County who had COVID? Do you know yes. anybody? Yeah, yeah. And then I know you had a family member, a couple of family members who had it. One that died. Yes. 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 And my, my sister-in-law who lives in Connecticut, she is a uh, neonatal care nurse. Right. Uh, and uh, labor and delivery. And another nurse uh, handing off information from the day shift to her, the night shift. Mm -hmm. um, the other nurse had husband had COVID mm -hmm. and she came to work anyway. Right. She not only gave it to my sister-in-law, Mary Jane, she gave it to five other nurses wow. in the neonatal wow. labor That's and delivery. Yeah. They had to contact every one of those mothers that gave birth during that time mm -hmm. and make, give them all tested to make sure that they didn't get it. But five nurses, I think all together, maybe six mm -hmm. from that one nurse. I mean, she didn't mean to, right. but right. her husband had it at home yeah. and she yeah. came to work. And yeah. they were just talking like you and I, maybe a little right. closer, right. handing off paperwork. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she got it really bad. Well, let me tell you something I did the other day and it was a very strange feeling, but it's something that we missed. I actually got to hug somebody the other day. Oh, we haven't hugged anybody since March. I know. And this was strange because the week before I had, or two weeks before I had seen them and we were doing the social distancing and without even thinking, one of them walked up to me and hugged me. And I thought, Oh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was amazing how much you yeah. miss that. Yeah. And then I thought, Oh no, they went to church last Sunday. Ooh. And now mm. I've been around them and I hug them, but I just continue to stay mm. safe. I continue to wash. Mm -hmm. I continue to try to be safe myself. Mm -hmm. But we can't run from this and we can't continue to hide. We can be cautious, but we can't stop living. We can't stop living and we can't condemn anybody for this happening to us. Mm -hmm. It just happened. Mm -hmm. and, and I truly believe that everything is in God's will. I don't know why some things happen. Mm -hmm. I don't understand some of the things we deal with. But I do understand mm -hmm. that it is um, take care of yourself. It's Just an, take care of yourself. It's an unseen enemy. It is. I mean, it is. It's not. It, it's, well, we had a scare with one of your friends with focus, and, and thank God he tested negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, because yes, he had been did. around a large group of people that day mm -hmm. and was scheduled to be with me the next day. Right, right. And, but he tested negative. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He had some symptoms, but yeah. I think he was just run down, right. tired, right. maybe had a little cough or yeah. something from something else. Uh -huh. I, I will tell you, every time. Well, my guest, Paul Kiker, mm -hmm. same thing. Mm -hmm. He was run down, tired, mm -hmm. but, you know, test negative. So, mm -hmm. so. We all get a little bit, I know. oh gosh, I is do. that why I'm coughing? Is that why I'm hacking? What's going I on? I do. Yeah. I do. I, I sometimes get scared when I when I have a little cough or not mm -hmm. feeling t good. I think, oh, do I have it? Do oh, I have it? No. Oh. Yeah. 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 But yeah. you know, like I said, you can always, oh, careful, careful, uh -oh. Miles, careful. <laughs> always, you can always hug a dog. Yeah. Always yeah. hug a dog. <laughs> look at him. Look at that. So look at that boy. <laughs> He's so Isn't cute. Isn't he adorable? He is a dog. Really, you know, I was just thinking of, when we Such had Riker in the studio, uh -huh. he ran wild. Oh, he just he was, he was wild and crazy. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and Miles has just sat here and been so good. I but know. if we put Miles with Riker, it would have been oh, a wild yeah. day. I, I know, it I would know. have been a wild day. Well, the only thing you have to be so careful of is that you don't step on these little guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because you'll back up and you'll think, oh, and then they're right behind you. And yeah. before you realize it, you know, you've stepped on You're them. so precious. Oh, now let me ask you about there with you when go. you travel, <laughs> if you go up north to visit family and friends, what do you do with these guys? I, I have a good friend that is, she comes to my home. Okay. And she takes care of them at my home. Mm -hmm. um, I did one time board them somewhere and that didn't work out very yeah. well. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I hire someone to come mm -hmm. in and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, their their normal routine. You yeah. Know? Do you ever travel with any of them? No, not. A, you mean on an airplane or something? Yeah. yeah. No, not. 
only to like the vet or the groomer uh -huh. do we all go. I mean, yeah. five dogs in one car yeah. with me driving. Yeah. But they yeah. all have their little booster seats uh -huh. and their harnesses, and I hook them so oh, they can't go anywhere. It's oh like, a, like a little kid, you know, they really are. <laughs> but they're really good. They love to go bye byes, and they love to go, oh, see that? Bye byes? <laughs> and down to the creek. Uh -huh. Oh, who wants to go to the creek? <laughs> they love it. Oh my <laughs> we gosh. Just, you know, we'll just turn them around so everybody Look can see that. every Look angle. At that precious there we baby. go. <laughs> He's so good. I know. He, he has is. been an Should angel. Be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, again, I think it's part of the way you handle them mm -hmm. and train them. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want them to go wild. You know. And well, when when they said it was National Take Your Pet to Work Day or week, and mm -hmm. I thought about that, and I yeah. thought in Germany and in England and all these places, many oh, yeah. restaurants oh, yeah. have their dogs there in the Absolutely. restaurant. Many people in do the take restaurant. Them. Yeah. I mean, they'll yeah. do that here in, in LJ, but they have the outdoor seating mm -hmm. and they welcome right. pets. They even have bowls for them to drink out mm -hmm. of, although mm -hmm. I wouldn't let my guys drink out yeah. of any of those public <laughs> bowls. So they yeah. have their own bowls, but uh -huh. that's, I mean, it's thoughtful of them to do yeah. that. Yeah. Because you'll see people walking around the roundabout in LJ and mm -hmm. I think, I, you know, maybe, seven or eight out of ten will have a dog with yeah, them because yeah. they know that they're welcomed. So. Well, I know my, my son-in-law has this huge dog. It started as this gawky looking little puppy like a year ago. And he is huge, tall, big, and every morning at 6.30 he gets out and walks this dog. Oh, yeah. It's a commitment to be a pet yes, owner. Exactly. It, exactly. Is a, it is a big commitment. Mm -hmm. And if people are looking to adopt, the animal shelter is open. Is it open by appointment now or is it open to the public? Well, I know for sure it's open by appointment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really sure, to be very honest, if you can just walk in and take a look around. But they are closed Sundays and Mondays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're forgetting, maybe Tuesday, too. but anyway, they're, they're open plenty of time, and you can always call, they'll answer the phone, if mm -hmm. they don't get right back to you, they will as soon as possible. And if you're looking oh. for a cat, they always have multiple cats. Oh, so cats. many cute cats. Yes, In fact, yes. there's something else coming up here. Uh, Ernie gave me all this info. Let me see, Tuesday, October 27th, at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., public hosted by Gilmer County Animal Shelter. Um, is sponsoring a low-cost spay and neuter event on October 27th, 2020 at the Civic Center. And that's for, I think, just cats. Mm -hmm. think so, so if you have a cat that needs to be spayed and neutered, yeah. and thankful, thankful, thank you to Focus and gotcha. to Gilmer Animal Shelter, mm -hmm. they took care of our two cats that I captured. That was so they, nice. They took care of, of them, and then we had the mama cat that I finally got a hold of her, uh -huh. and we took her to the Animal Project down in Ball Ground. Right, right. And they took care of her there, and uh, yeah. she's still a little bit standoffish, okay. but when you think she was a feral cat, mm -hmm. never been in anybody's home, never been around people. She is finally a little bit yeah. friendly, I'll mm -hmm, use that mm -hmm. word. She's not all snuggly or anything, mm -hmm. but she's a little bit friendly. But the kittens, they I, spend a lot of time yes. just saying, isn't this better than uh -huh. running under bushes? Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh. And uh, But we thank you. You were a celebrity at the Yelmer oh, Shelter. I'm so glad we no, got they, to save them. They heard that you got them and you, ca you caught them and, mm -hmm. and uh, got the the, it was crazy. The, the it was crazy. Cages or whatever you want to call yep. it to catch them. Yep. You did everything yep. you were supposed yep. to. We did. And that we was did. good. So yeah. And it saved their lives. And you know, mm -hmm. one of the things about being in town in Ball Ground, the traffic is so heavy. Okay. And I just knew, you know, we watched them as they grew from tiny, tiny kittens, mm -hmm. and I thought we're going to see them laying out the road dead, and it's going to be horrible. So, mm -hmm. so we got to bring them to the country. That's right. And That's now they get right. a country life. So if y'all yeah. are looking to adopt a cat, a kitten. The animal shelter has plenty. They had some of the cutest oh, kittens so today. Cute. I was there, some tiny tinies. Oh, I so, know. Yeah. Well, you know, we also, uh, Focus has, um, you know, helped to build that special recovery room for cats or kittens that are maybe, you know, under the weather or not mm -hmm. feeling good or maybe after they've been spayed or neutered. Right. They go into this recovery room and they <coughs> did it up so cute. They painted the walls with butterflies and, and all of that. So, and Focus, again, I think we spent. $5,800 in getting that room with all the enclosures mm -hmm. and the kennels and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's just for the cats. There you so, go. And it's a quieter place. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not around, you know, barking dogs. Where right. They can recover in peace. And don't we all need that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Now, how many pets can they, can they take care of? Do you know at the Gilmer Animal Shelter? Well, I think, I mean, that one time there were over 100 dogs. Yeah. 
and I think over 130 something cats. Right. That's a lot of cleaning That's a lot. up. And they have a, a very small staff. They have yep. a very mm -hmm. small staff, yeah, but then they, they have do. volunteers. Exactly. So if y'all are looking to volunteer, if you love animals, if you would love to be a part of that, mm -hmm. you can volunteer to be a part of Gilmore Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. Go over and talk to Daniel mm -hmm. and, and find out what do they need? Do they need food? Do they need time? Do they need you to walk their animals? What do they need? They need the human animal connection. Mm -hmm. It makes it so much easier to adopt them out when they've already had that cuddling mm -hmm. and um, that sort of love from a, a human being. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then when it is time for them to get adopted, they're, they, they just transition so much faster. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but of course they need food and, and they need more blankets. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You donated those wonderful blankets mm -hmm. to them. And My they, friend that was mm -hmm. moving to Montana was going to just yeah. throw them away. And I and said, no, 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 you're not. And they no. were beautiful. They were like comforters. <laughs> no, they were not. And when they saw them, they went, oh, thanks, Sherry, for yeah, us. Yeah. yeah, it was wonderful that you did that. So if you're changing your mm -hmm. linens in the fall, if you mm -hmm. see things that you're tired yeah. of and you don't want to mm -hmm. use anymore, don't oh, get rid of them. Can, Give them to the animal they shelter. They can use them. Yeah. I mean, rather than sitting on a, which they don't allow it to happen, but on a cold, mm -hmm. uh, you know, crate mm -hmm. if they had a nice warm cozy yep. comforter or something to lie on yeah you know how much better would that be for them so you know when I went to see the kittens um, it'd been I think they'd been there three weeks mm -hmm. the day I mm -hmm. went mm -hmm. and they were still a little bit standoffish mm -hmm. but they were better than they were they just kind of got behind something and looked at uh -huh. me they didn't run because yeah. when they were at the house, they yeah, ran. Yeah. They just ran away and they hid in the ditch yeah. all the time. You have to think of what they had just been through. Mm -hmm. The change mm -hmm. of scenery and then mm -hmm. the, the one was spayed, one was neutered because right. it was a boy and a girl. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, they went through all that. Do you know mm. which was which? Do you know which wasn't was? Wasn't the black and white one, wasn't that? I don't, I forget. I, don't I think know. that was the boy. Okay. And the other one. So pretty. Know, he was my favorite. He was wasn't my favorite. Wasn't it uh, Vicky's favorite too, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we love that. Yeah. 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 Well, we, we all need to be involved in, in loving our animals, taking care of them, donating money if you can, mm -hmm. donating mm -hmm. time, yeah. surely. Yeah. It doesn't cost anything to help these precious mm -hmm. animals. And uh, mm -hmm. poor Miles is going to go home now and tell the rest of his Oh, uh, his did I have fun. That, did uh, I get to be a star yes, today? You, did. <laughs> you know, um, when, I, when I first tried to get them all into the car and everything, I, I would tell them we were going to, uh, well, in up north it's Carvel. Uh -huh. Here is the... Um, uh, Dairy Queen. Yes. And then, of course, we'd pull into the vet <laughs> parking lot. And they're lot, like, and we're like this us. is not Dairy Queen. <laughs> but Lisa it. got him there. You know. I love it. Cole, did you find some of Susan's music? Oh. What about Desperado? It's laying right over that's, there. That's on a your... long one. Oh, okay. That's a really long. I think that's it's laying like right there. Three and a half, four minutes long. Did you find it? We could go off the air with that one. Yeah. Uh, we yeah, could end the day. I did with that. that. Okay. I'm at up here. What was it 39 in San Francisco uh -huh. at Fisherman's Wharf, uh -huh. walking, you know, just around, having and enjoying the crab and the shrimp and all that. Mm -hmm. And there was this booth. It was a karaoke booth. Uh -huh. And I think it was $20. You can go in, you get one try at it, uh -huh. and there's a list of songs you can choose from. And I chose Desperado. There you 1977. Go. 1977. And wow. this, the song started, and the microphones are in there. And I, one shot, no, no do-overs, yeah. and I did Desperado. Yeah. yeah. And then when I came out, I wanted to hear it, and you know, I'm kind of proud of this because <laughs> when they when they played it out in the in the air, mm -hmm. people started like uh, uh, arriving, like, oh, 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 is that a star or something? Like, no, no, it's just me, just me. I love but it. But it was it was uh, it was good enough that it caught people's attention. That's good. So that cost me twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And a booth, a karaoke wow. booth. Wow. Yeah, that's how. Wow. It, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now the guy that was doing your recording for you here moved uh, away. Well, not away, away. I was so surprised. Okay. He was going to go out west, uh -huh. but no, he stayed here in Gilmer County. Good. So I'm still going to be able to uh, do my music with him. He had to set up his whole new mm -hmm. uh, music studio here in his new home. So what if people have written songs and they want to record? Does he do? Does he work with other people? Oh yeah. Yeah. He works and with bands. And what's everything. the name of his studio? L E J. Like L -E -J, but it's L-E-J Studios. <laughs> okay. And Michael Cornett is the owner. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he's just a fantastic songwriter, singer, musician. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he's one. And he's played in several bands. He mm -hmm. has his own band now too. Mm -hmm. And they play at different, you know, venues or 
gigs, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. but not so much anymore because of this whole yeah. thing, you know. This mm. COVID thing is, yeah. has wreaked havoc on it us. Really and, has. You know, after watching that debate last night, I, I was a little bit annoyed, and I was a little bit discouraged because I thought there's a chance that things will not stay well in America. And then I said, no, I'm going to put my faith. Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to overcome whatever is thrown at us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be all right. We have had an amazing four years economy. Mm -hmm. We need four more years to recover right, from the days right. of, of blunder that we had in the past. Yeah. But the roads were filled this weekend. The shops oh. were filled this weekend. The restaurants were packed out yes. this weekend. Yes. The economy seems I to know. be coming back. And um, I hope that by the time November the 3rd comes, people look around and say, are you better off today mm -hmm. than you were four years ago? Mm -hmm. Certainly we are, certainly the economy is. Um, I was so excited when I had to sit at the roundabout about six minutes to go through it I on know Saturday. It, I know. And I was like, all these people, and it was baby strollers and people I with their know, animals and people walking. And I thought, we're really going to get through these hard times. We are going to make it. Yeah. Now, we're going to end today's program with uh, a song that you recorded in 1977. I know. Do and you know who wrote Desperado? Who wrote the Eagles. That? The Eagles. Eagles. But you know, my, it's interesting. People change. Oh, gosh knows. We do. Oh, yeah. Got everything else. <laughs> but the voice stays the same. I something? listened to Desperado from 1977 and then Night to Shine yeah. last June. Yeah. And not that much difference. It's weird. Yeah. And, and you know, when you mention that, when you watch these old groups like the Beach Boys who mm -hmm. still perform, the few of them that are still mm -hmm. alive, mm -hmm. and it sounds like they did in 1968. I know it. I know. And you're like, you're looking at these old, 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 <laughs> old <laughs> men standing on stage and you're going. Just close your eyes <laughs> and listen. That's what you have <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's weird because when you, you when you look at that and you see that and you're like, holy cow, I can't I know, believe I that. Know. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. So. But thank yeah. you again, Sherry, for all you do for you know, touting our animal I know shelter it's so and, and important. Yep. Thank you so much. And, and to Charlie Parrish, we love him and oh, he's so he involved. Is the Thank best. God. Oh my God. The yeah. chairman. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Mm -hmm. So, and we just, um, we, again, we have a really wonderful Fogus family and we work very closely with, with Daniel and the Gilmer Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just hoping that we can get some more events going and fundraisers because right now we have a nice little. Uh, you know, a little kitty of money, mm -hmm. but it's going to run out if yeah, we keep doing yeah. the spay neuter thing. Right. And so we need more. So don't forget <laughs> this Saturday, yeah. Tractor Supply line up around 11 a.m. <laughs> I say if you get there after 11 a.m., you don't have a chance. Oh, isn't that a shame? They have 30 <clears throat> certificates to mm -hmm. to right, give for right. $25 each. Right. You have to be Gilmer County resident. Gilmer County resident. And um, it's it's $25. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what a great, and you don't have to pay, oh, I think you do have to pay the $25 then. Right. But you have the certificate. Right. And I think a couple of times someone didn't show and we refunded their money mm -hmm. or we said, you know, if you have another you pet, you can, you can use it yeah. again. And you know, the vendors from the St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. a lot of them, you know, d gave a, the money to Fogus. Mm -hmm. And then when it didn't happen, we said, well, we'll give you your, your money back. A lot of them said, no, no, keep no. it. Yeah. It's yours. That's awesome. You know, we understand you're going through a tough time here with yeah. all the cancellations. Yeah. And we were supposed to have our, um, our um, barbecue and silent auction. Mm -hmm. That was always a big fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight thousand right. dollars I think we, we, we got last year. Uh -huh. Nothing. And I need, I need to mention another fundraiser. <clears throat> we have a dear, dear lady from Pickens County. <clears throat> Tracy Buckingham is dealing with, she needs a kidney transplant. Oh. And I have tickets for sale. They're three for $25. And the thing we're giving away is a Trump Glock limited edition gun. So if you oh. want a chance to win, oh I have God. the tickets mm. in my office. <clears throat> and again, we're going to give it away the last of October. It's, I think they're $10 each or three for $25. Mm -hmm. And it is a Trump limited edition. I meant to bring those. I was sitting at my desk oh, this yeah. morning and meant to bring the, the information on it. But mm. Tracy Buckingham, everybody knows her. She mm -hmm. was a teacher in Pickens County for many years. She is fighting to save her life and to save her, her mm. kidney support. She's on dialysis now. Mm. She needs your love. She needs your support. We need your money. So if yeah. you would like to help Tracy, 
She is a sweet, sweet lady, and um, it, it is a, it's a tough road to hoe. It's a tough road to hoe. That mm -hmm. that deal with uh, your kidney failure is something that you're on a waiting list. You're oh, hoping yeah. for a miracle. Perfect But batch. you have to raise yeah. the money. You have to raise the money. So if you could help Tracy in any way, pick up the phone and call me. Mm -hmm. at 404-375-0590. I've got the tickets at my office, <clears throat> and I did mean to bring some today. Can y'all tell my allergies are kicking in? Uh oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> He's precious, my but I can't bring really, you, think it, you really think it's because of <laughs> No, I think oh. it's because of everything I've oh, been okay. out. I've been out in everything <laughs> you're, oh, for you're days. Innocent, no, you're innocent, baby. No, he's innocent. He's innocent. Well, you've got my support. I'll definitely buy three tickets Thank for sure. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She is, yeah. She's such a sweet, sweet lady. And uh, her parents, her daddy used to bring me collard greens and turnip oh. greens all the time. Just mm -hmm. good, good folks. And uh, mm -hmm. I hope that Tracy is able to get her kidney transplant. She mm -hmm. is, you have to raise a certain amount of money before they'll get you in there. How so. old is she? Or, oh. She's early 50s. Oh, that's young. <clears throat> early 50s, yeah. Yeah, wow, so, that is young. Wow. Yeah, it is young. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that uh, it is life ending or life altering mm -hmm. when your kidneys stop. So and we you need can to give, help save her life. You can give one of your kidneys and still yep. have one. Yep, so, that's right. You know, it's not if like you're, you're a perfect match. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, we're going to go okay. off the air today with just a little scenery and a little music. And the music is um, Susan singing in 1977. Yeah. And because yesterday was your happy birthday, we actually have some flowers that were being delivered, but oh, they're not here yet. Oh, that was so sweet. And they Thank were you. running a little late, and I was waiting. Aww. We tried to get Caleb to go get them, and Caleb's not here today. Aww. So we're going to have flowers, oh, I hope, nice. by the time we walk off oh, the set. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. But happy, happy birthday Thank yesterday you. to yeah. you. And uh, again, 70? in 1880, what do you remember <laughs> about 1880, Susan? Oh, it's, it's clear in my mind. <laughs> was it a yeah. good year? Yeah, it, was, it was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 paper looks like I my face is starting to look you know wrinkled and withered. And 1880. I hope not yellow though. 1880. 1880. Okay, Cole, can we just share Thank some you. of Susan's beautiful music as Thank we leave you. you today? I'll see you again soon, only on ETC. Thank you again. Miles, sure. tell everybody bye bye. Bye Say bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. <laughs>